All right, there we go. What's going on, folks? We are playing, obviously, Farming Sim 17, but we are on Hall Farm, which is one of the maps. It's set in, I do believe, uh, well, it is England. I think it's Yorkshire or something. But it is definitely a, uh, a big change of pace from uh, what you guys are normally seeing me do on Farming Sim. Usually I'm rocking a huge scale operation, millions of pieces of, equip uh, of equipment, millions of dollars involved in it, and usually getting a lot of stuff done really fast. This is not going to be the case here, seeing how all these fields are on extreme angles. There is mud in here which is pretty freaking sweet. So we're gonna use just what is handed to us right now. I did not cheat any with money, so we're literally starting with, we started with $20,000 and off of the two fields that I've harvested with that little bitty ass uh, 1680 harvester down there, sold off two trailers of grain which now, well, no, I did. I stopped up at the uh, silo, I think, and I filled it up. If not, I'm I was dumb for not doing that. I want to see if I do a couple end rows here. How the uh, GPS model work on smaller fields? Because if I can get it to where everything's nice and straight, like here, I should be able to get the GPS mod to work pretty decent. But I do have to go around the field a few times. Now the only reason I'll use the GPS mod is that way so I don't have to keep just driving around in a circle. I can actually uh, just let it take over and do straight rows. But we got to get enough of this edge knocked out so it's not trying to turn around and it hits the uh, borders because they are, every field does have a fence around it and a gate that you have to go in and out of. This field has one at the top and one at the bottom. So I think, what are we rocking for a tractor? I think this is a small Massey with a uh, stole front end loader and a little uh, cultivator on the back. I was originally going to plow it first, then cultivate, seeing how I've been watching probably in the past three or four days, I've, I've watched every one of Daggerwind's videos for farming dynasty ears the way they say it over there, Dynasty. I've been watching them do the entire uh, series on farmers, farming Dynasty, and I kind of wanted to plow first, but then when I realized how shitty it was plowing, yeah, not so much want to do it anymore, so we're just going to cultivate, because I know the cultivator will work. But you can see these little patches of mud here. That definitely throws, throws a different variant into work in the field here because you could go full speed and hit one of those little uh, mud puddles and you get stopped almost dead in your tracks alright so if I can straighten this row up down here if I can get this just a straight run I'm gonna try to turn on GPS and see if it can make straight passes. I'm not so sure about this end down here. Well, we're about to find out because we're going to turn this thing around. Got as straight as I can get. So let's turn the GPS there. Oh, I don't have my map up. Alright, so control we want new auto working with and it's wanting to put me in straight lines, which is okay. So we'll get the straight line going and then once he does the straight line pass here, I'll just go over there and fix that bottom end. No, don't do that, damn you. You broke it. Got 
Gun set up to make a turn, so let's see what he does. Why are you veering off course, dude? Alright, so that didn't work out too well there. Let's try resetting him. Right here. Try a new. Auto work with there. I might just have to do this myself at the bottom. Or we can try doing that. He has set the turn, so let's see what he does when he gets to the end of the uh, plowable area. Does he smack the New Holland? Should be beeping. Nope. He ran into it, and now we're bail spiked into that. Oh, there's an easy way to fix that. Look at that. It, it's literally stuck in the, the fence. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll be resetting that back to the farm. Cruise control on. I think I'm just going to do this manually. Screw the GPS. That's really only mainly for big things anyways. We're not doing big scale farming. Really no need for GPS. So if that's the case, I wanna go ahead and just do diagonal rows up and down. Cause our cedar is extremely small. I think that's gonna be the other weak link. Our seed drill is very, very, very small. Has a very small capacity, very small working width, and well, this tractor's gonna be right on the edge of uh, what it can handle and what it can't. At least on the up passes, down we can go no problem. I just have to remember when we're done with this to reset the spike back to the farm. Now if that was a bucket on there, we wouldn't have had a problem, but since it was a spike, it got stuck. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. This is going to be probably a lot of time and not much really getting done due to the fact that we are running such a small scale operation. Like literally that's the map. And all the rest of those fields are all in grass. So if we want more than just field two and three, we need to take that New Holland go over and plow all the rest of the fields to get them out of the grass state unless we get a cheap uh, mower and baler and then we can do a uh, baling operation with it. Whether or not there is a bale sell point is the question because there's literally Denton Bakery and the Spinnery. Those are the only two places to sell anything but I'm wondering if you roll up to where the uh, little uh, silage roll is, is you can sell your hay bales in the barn. Now, I wouldn't mind mowing because that's actually a pretty fun job to do. But I don't think it, it I don't know if it's going to be profitable enough because we're going to need something to transport them on. We're going to need a mower, we're going to need a baler, and I highly doubt that we're going to be able to accomplish that with only $61,000. Unless I sell some of my equipment. That's probably the only way I see it happening. If 
but nonetheless, at least we can't do anything dumb around here, like combining fields and making the super outrageous what the hell are you thinking fields. But it still gives you the same feeling because you're running such a small, small operation that it may not be the biggest one out there, but it, it's still going to take forever a day to do it. I don't know I have this on, I'm not on the road, I'm in my field. Let's see if I can do this one in an L. And it's skipping stuff again. Of course there's my Satanically levitating bail spikes. This is probably the most efficient way is just to work it in a block pattern. Plus that way I can just swing around and get the stuff that I miss. That it annoys me to see that. So we'll just drive around, get that, get that, and this one here. All right, so we're not missing any, uh, not missing any spots there. We'll get this and probably uh, two more passes and have the bottom edge of this field squared up ready to go and then we'll just have to work the uphill side. Now the other field down at the, uh, the basin of it there's some mud that we have to deal with and there's also some mud up at the top of this one that we have to deal with. So the mud is fun. Nope. No, no, I saw that. You're getting cultivated. Get these ends tucked in here. I wouldn't mind a slightly larger cultivator, but that would mean we need a bigger tractor. And really? Actually, I think the New Holland. New Holland's got a little bit more ump than this Massey Ferguson does, so the, the New Holland actually might be able to take the slightly larger cultivator, but it's a long drive from here to the equipment shop, even though it's a small map. It's The roads are very small, very tight-knit. Everything is very, very close. When I've got the harvester out there, I'm taking up the entire uh, width of the road. And even though I'm running the smallest header, it still has to be on a trailer because you can't drive down the road and have the, that small header attached. It will hit stuff and you'll get stuck. I couldn't even go in through the gate in uh, field three over there. And you can see directly in front there is the mud that I was talking about. Once we get a crop. Really? You're going to keep leaving spots? I'll keep backing up. I don't want to see any of that left over. I'll get that on the way back. Turn row. Alright, now we're going to do the hard part. We're going to go up the hill. Which we're going to go probably 
pretty damn slow, but luckily we don't have much of it to do because I did make those diagonal cuts into it. There's the mud. Oh, she's struggling. Oh, you can do it. There you go. Come across and cut into this, and then I'll swing back down and get the spot that's missed. Don't want anything left over. Like that. Now we do have a fertilizer too, which I probably could have put on the front of this. But I have a feeling what I'll do is I'll put the fertilizer on the front and then the seeder on the back. So I'm doing fertilization and seeding at the same time. Don't really want to cultivate it. Well, cultivate fertilizer. So every time we've done that before. If you run over something that's been fertilized with a cultivator or whatever, it eliminates the fertilizer, so. Now, obviously be for a different state, and luckily right across the uh, river there is where our cedar and our fertilizer is. Just sitting there waiting for us to go use it. And since this tractor does have a three-point hitch on the front. That'll be the one we use since the new Holland does not. I think the new Holland just has suitcase weights on the front. I'm not sure. But if that's the case, we could definitely get the uh, new Holland going with this. Because I think the new Holland's got a little bit more power. Let's try. Take this off. Oh, New Holland looks like it might have a hitch on the front. It does. Look at that. But, does it have more power? Survey says... Yeah, a little bit. Not much, but we won't really know till we go up a hill anyway, but we're, we'll find out. This one I don't have to worry about being so close with because it doesn't have the front end loader on it. So far, this tractor seems to be kicking, uh, kicking the Massey's ass right now. Even on the uphills. I think we found a winner. This New Holland. We still haven't gone up the hill with it yet. On that steep edge, back the other way, we dropped, I think it was four miles an hour. We'll see what this thing drops too, because I'm going to take it over and Go over there and start a run up the hill. Let's see what this thing does. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 
About the same power as the Massey. They both bogged down about four miles an hour. Just this one has a faster working speed, I think. I'm not sure. The way once we finish this field, we're gonna go up to the gate and then we're gonna enter in the field three and we'll take care of that, get that one done. A little bit of mud there. For some reason that doesn't wanna cultivate in because it's dirt, but that's okay. Let's keep going with this. We're almost done. This almost reminds me of uh, FS-15 using the small equipment on, I believe it was the original uh, Westbridge. I know they gave us gold crest on this one. Yeah, I think it was uh, the original Westbridge Hills. It's just everything they did, it was just large, but then again, that's what. American style farming is more geared towards it, is the large, large farms, big fields, big equipment. Whereas here, being in the UK, it's all about the rolling countryside and building your farm into the hillsides. Now, if it turns out being just absolutely horrendous to seed the fields, we might just turn this into a hay operation, which that means we need even more things. We need a tedder, a windrower, a baler. A mower. We need a lot of stuff. We're just going to continue to drive around and knock out this little field here. This is going now into the easier part. I'm just going to sculpt this edge right here so it's a little bit curved. I don't know why there's that little piece of grass, but oh well. It ain't going to hurt nothing. So now we're doing donuts. Now we should just be able to go back. Bingo. All right, now we can continue over this way. Get the last bit of this field done. And then we'll head over to field three, take care of that, which you can see it's over there and it's another crazy gradient. Ooh, I had a sneeze there. That would have been bad. And 
once again I miss a little piece, so yeah, go figure. Maybe if we just run on not so steep an angle. Oh. Back it up. Was that just a very tiny little piece of crop that didn't get done? Yes, it was. So this little field here has taken probably about the same amount of time that it would take me to do a large field with large equipment. We're still not done because we gotta do this one, we gotta do field three. Then I gotta decide whether I want to plow everything over in the other fields because they're all grass. Or do I want to mow with them because only having two fields right now is kind of a disadvantage, especially when you're trying to make money. And we all know that to make money, you have to spend money. I just don't want to spend a ton of it and then have it not come out to uh, be worth its while. So now we have a nice freshly plowed field. I'm going to lift up the cultivator. We're going to go through the gate. And then off into the next field. There's that mud. Timber would be a nice uh, sale point here, but you know, I want to know is timber. What look they have? Uh, really? It supports sugar cane. Look at that. They do take wood chips, but nobody's. No, they don't. There's yarn. Nobody takes. Uh, I don't see anybody that takes straw either, so. Scratch that. We wouldn't be doing straw anyways, we'd be doing silage. Get to the muck there. Now we'll just follow the line around this field, which is down and up again. Spin the tractor. I don't want to get too far in because I know it's pretty picky on the edge. And down here, this whole bottom row is nothing but mud. Right here. That's all mud that we're in right now. And we kind of got stuck there a little bit, so we're going to try and go, but... You can see we're just literally making a mess. So our once nice and clean uh, New Holland there is now filthy. We're going to try and stay out of that mud hole. We'll get those on down passes. We'll worry about that when uh, we go down. Which is going to have to be quite a bit. Okay, well I'm plowing all that and it's still showing 
stuff off in the grass. Let me back up and see what does this do. Nothing, so alright. Let's go down and see if we can go down into the the mud without getting stuck. If we just insta spin. Oh, we made it down. Don't think we're gonna make it back up that though. Uh no. Seeing how it's trying to spin my tractor around. Well, actually no, I made it do that, so that's kind of a plus. I guess we'll just try and go as hard as we can down there. But till we get down there, I'm just going to keep going side to side passes. We'll make our way down. We're going to keep our speed up this way. Because the up down, although I'm sure if you were to bust out a scientific calculator or whatnot, the way I'm doing it now and the way I was doing it before, probably the same exact, it, it'd probably boil down to the same amount of time. But we'll, we'll, we'll try it and see what it does. It seems to go faster this way. Yeah, there's no getting through that mud. Oh, come on. Took a lot to do all those downhills, but seating it would be just as bad. That's some pretty uh, gnarly terrain. So 
So we might actually have to jump down in uh, horsepower ranges of tractors. Rock the older equipment, like some John, old John Deere's or some internationals. Something, something to get us to where it's cheaper, we can afford it, and if we do do a mass sell off of all this, we can use all the uh, old American iron that I have mod wise versus using these bigger tractors. It'd probably slow down the process even more, but at the same sense, probably it'd, it'd be a uh, catch 22, I guess. Sacrifice speed for more equipment. I mean, I, I like this New Holland. I know we can get a bigger uh, cultivator and a bigger tractor to pull. Problem is, is the tractor is a quad wheel all the way around and it articulates. Whereas this is a standard. I'm kind of curious though, if I was to take all this stuff to the implement shop right now, sell it all off, what I would get money wise. Because I'm trying to do this without even so much as taking out a loan. And I think they actually start you with a $50,000 loan. So we actually do have a loan out. That's why we start with 20000 and that's with a $50,000 loan. So we'll see what happens. We're slowly making headway here. Had a bigger cultivator. Yeah, that's great. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, and just make this smaller. Seems to be a little bit more effective. Do it this way. Make our curve up the hill. Yeah, I think we'll just make this L shape pattern more than the uh, side to side and up and down anymore. It just feels like we're we're doing more work. Probably not, but if it's placebo effect, then so be it. Now, if our cedar is empty, that's definitely going to be a big thing as to whether or not I even try to attempt any of that. If our fertilizer box is empty and our cedar is empty, that is just going to get sold. I'll have to look in the equipment catalog here though and see how much those case tractors are going to run me, what the horsepower rating is on them and uh, what all I can get. I know I've got a baler, I know I've got a uh, tether, we'd have to buy one of the more expensive uh, bale trailers but Pretty sure I put in a mower too. Yeah, this actually does seem to be like it's working faster than just going side hilling it. 
Even though technically I'm violating tractor rule number one, don't ever work on the, uh, the, the bad gradient of a hill. We're totally doing that. And whenever I turn cruise control on, this Xbox controller likes to also try and turn the lights on, so that's why you see me keep flipping through the lights. So once we finish this field, we're going to find out whether or not we have an empty seed box and an empty uh, fertilizer box. And if that is the case, seeing how there are no uh, placeable silos on here, I didn't put any down. That right there will dictate what we do next, whether we move, stay as a root crop farm, or if we go into grass operations which will still be on a small scale it's going to be what is going to make us more money faster that strip down there does not appear that it's going to get plowed because it's you guys have seen you bring the uh the tractor itself can go through it, but with the cultivator on the back, as soon as you lower the cultivator, you lose all the uh, down pressure on the, the rear tires, and with it trying to dig in and pull the mud, we go nowhere fast. So that little strip down there is going to just stay there because we can't do anything about it. But this smaller tractor, I, I doubt a higher speed tractor would do it either unless we had a, a gull wing or bat wing style cultivator which would allow us to stay out of the mud but the cultivator could go through it Now that we're closing in, we are pretty much almost done with this. Now it's going to be a wild U turn down here at the bottom. It worked like a champ though. It's not going to do it next time though because we ended up making almost a squared off angle. And we're still coming out on an angle. swing that one this time. We're going to have to swing around, back up, go up. I know this field's smaller, but it, it almost feels like the technique we used this time was a lot more efficient. Like I said, that can be 100% placebo effect. Only because it's a smaller field. But it does seem that we were able to keep the speed on the tractor up a lot more. A lot of these fields here shows that it, it looks almost like there's a crop in them, but there isn't. The thing I didn't like 
when I load it in is that we own all the fields, which that's great and all, but when you don't have the equipment to do all the fields, it's kind of pointless. It's like we used to say around here, it's like putting, it's about as useful as tits on a bowl. So we're done with the fields, well, two and three. You need to come out through the mud pit up here. And for instance, we'll look at field number one. Oh boy. Field number one is up there. Let's look in at tractors, what do we have? In the small range, not the big ones. We have an old 706 farm all tractor for 6,100 bucks. 89 horsepower, 145 horsepower for the 1456 turbo diesel. 225 out of the articulating 4366 four wheel drive. The 4568, 300 horsepower. The 86 series, we have 350. The 88's 330. The 66 is an 85 horse. The 68 is a 145. This is another 85 horse. There's 145. Tri stripes 90. Our two wheel drive John Deere's. That's 111. 117. Then we got our old Massey Ferguson's. That, you know, that might actually work for you in the mud. So only 88. They're all 88 horse. I don't think we can bump them up really that much either. Yeah, 95 horsepower is the highest we can go with that. How about this one? We can get it to 148 horsepower with singles. Okay, so we, we, we could possibly uh, I know I need to go down Actually no, what we're going to do is we're going to do this the smart way We're going to go to our vehicles tab here Reset to the shop We have a skid steer that we don't even freaking use So we'll go over here. What the fuck? This is not the shop. The shop is over there. And we're stuck in a fence here. There's probably a gate up here, which I think I see, huh? It's, yeah, there's a gate up here, but why the hell would it reset all our equipment into that? Don't make no damn sense. Well, hell, if we know that's a wide open area. Let's reset all this stuff. Set that. Our cedar, yes. Cultivator, yes. Even though it's not reset to the shop. Plow, yes. Uh, fertilizer, yeah. I don't know if we did the combine head, but we'll do that anyways. Looking through the list, is there anything else that I need to bring up? Nope. All right, so let's hop back in the tractor. All our stuff is now sitting in a grass field. Let's 
So what we'll do with this one is we will attach Of course it's the wrong freaking way Attach our fertilizer box and we'll grab uh, let's grab the cultivator. So we have the cultivator, the fertilizer, and the New Holland. We'll go up here and make our way over to the implement shop, which that's kind of one thing that I would have uh, tried to uh, do is make the reset actual reset. That looks like timber drop off. Okay, how the frick are you supposed to get down there? Please do, because this map is. Ah, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing's like trying to drive a rally car. Where's the cell point? Damn it. Oh, it's in here. Douche fart! I did jump it. Now where the hell's the... Really, it's... It's gonna be over here? Alright, so we'll sell that. Sell that tractor. Sell that, now I'll jump up. Nope. We got this tractor, we got the case. Let's see what happens if we hook the cedar to the back of this. And then the plow to the front of it. Well, it already number one doesn't want to fucking turn. So we've got a plow and a cedar hooked to our Massey. Is there another gate to get out of here other than this one here? It's like I have a giant dildo stuck on the front of this thing. Well, this should be fun. Oh, I've got to reset that one uh, bail spike because it's still stuck in the freaking bushes. And <clears throat> we're there. Can't get around that. So that tractor, that was 88 grand. Oh, hell, we got plenty of money now to do everything. Nope, I want the JCB. I'll use... This right here. The case doesn't have the front end loader, but I don't give two shits. And then we'll use the harvester to do everything else. I wish that was all open going down there. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Three shits, not two. No, because that means I'm I care more than I actually do. God, this is some bumpy ass bull. I like there's a gate right there, but you can't go into anything else. So what do we do with the equipment we trade in? <clears throat> oh, hey, I was able to jump that. Let me, let me through. I own this place now. It's mine. Sell that. Sell off, Jesus, 91 grand for that piece of junk? 
First we gotta go over here. Catch the head. Now we gotta go put it on the trailer. And then we gotta hook the trailer up. Roadhead. As I drive up the trailer. Come on, get on there, bitch. The funny part is that head can sit all funny. But the minute that you hook up to the trailer, it locks down. Alright, so we got the harvester, the head, and the towable trailer. Our famous saying, put these uh, hazards on to let everybody know that I'm a hazard to everybody, including myself. I'll drive this ancient technology over to the shop, as if I can get out of the freaking fence. Really? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I can't freaking, oh yeah, oh we're getting zero days safe, we're getting smacked in the face of trees. Um, I don't know, that's a good question. I think they're right about the same. I know some of the equipment we're going to use is more Rodney's age. About 140 years old. Really, who would put a little bit of mud right there? Boink. Run up in here like we own this. 125 grand, holy shit, we're up to half a million? Yeah, I kind of figured it was more than mud. Skid steer! Oh, we gotta show our ultimate safety here. I look like a friggin' Sasquatch. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm all, uh, I'm all road raged. Ah, joysticks, brake, Hulk smash, drive into wall, get pissed. Not pay attention to where I'm going and drive this thing all over the place. This is going to suck driving down this road. Good God. No. No. Jeez. Alright, yeah, we're just going to drive over here. Nope, that's even worse. Holy sh... Um, this is... A warranty claim in the making, just driving in and out of there. Oh my god. Jesus. How are you supposed to drive down this thing with a skid steer? Mud! Getting some sick uh, sick wheelies. Alright, that can get the hell out of here. What's up, Timothy? Alright, let's see. Sell that for 43 grand. Now we gotta look. Well, fuck, we got plenty of money. Tractors, I think I will go with the 55 series with loader attachment with the 4455 motor 
no duels on it because that's just asking to get wrecked. Oh, it rolls coal. Oh, what are these tires in the front? Firestone. Oh, God, we're going to flip the tractor. It's got firestones. Oh, the, the shitty ass Massey. Mine was absolutely brutal. What can I put for a motor in this thing? You can put a front attacher on that thing? Are you kidding? No way. I'm not buying this piece of shit because it only goes to 80, 88 horsepower. What the hell's a guard? A warning triangle? Guard and cover? Alright, wait. I want to see what this piece of shit looks like. Just to see it. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it's got a freaking... That's like a safari cage. Tracked wheelies! Or donuts. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. God, I can't even fucking steer it. Holy shit. Really, I paid more than that for that, but whatever. Alright, tractor. We got a tractor. We need a... What the hell do we need? We need a... What the fuck do we need? We need a mower. No. Well, we need bailing too, so... What is that? That's for blowing in. I thought I got that smaller auto loader. Now, where's the big bitch? 16 bales. We need that. Because we're going to poo out some... Uh... Dude, I'm not driving that piece of shit. <laughs> thing was horrible. <laughs> you want unwrench too? That's the small roll belt. That's the big one. Try not to rape all my money here. Uh, we need a tram. We got the transport trailer. We need mowers. That's what we need. There's that little piece of shit I put in the rotary cutter, but that doesn't really do anything. There's a side mower. That's an offset mower. Does that two-wheel drive tractor have a freaking three-point? Hell no. So we're going to have to go with probably something slow as... Wait a minute, no. We'll use that one tractor for that. I need something that has a front attacher. Yeah, the sad part is there's no fucking weights for the John Deere. I want to see what that piece of junk does. Wow, you can't even change the horsepower. 89. No, not necessarily. I don't think this one's a wheelie death machine like the International was. Uh, fuck. I need something that has a attacher on the front. Not a loader attachment, but a three-point. A turbo diesel. God damn it, I hate when that happens. Oh, that one? What the hell's the difference? I want quad ribs. Open station? Sure, why the fuck not? I gotta see how much coal this thing rolls. Holy shit, Where, uh, where's our... Good God! I 
it. And does roll some coal. And luckily it's not fast enough to, to flip over. Ha <laughs> ha! We're safe. Question is, does I have enough power to pull a baler? Oh fuck, is this a round baler? I did not even look. I think that's that little farm wall. I'm pretty sure this is a round baler. Yeah, that's a round baler. We can't do shit with that. But that turbo though. Get my way. We'll just park that right there. That's a round baler. We can't use that. Get the fuck out of the way. Back to balers then. Uh, that one does round and square, but that's a lot of fucking money for that. There's the old Massey Ferguson square baler. Ooh, I want with the warning triangle, I want to be exclusive. So now we'll get back on this. And wait for the turbo to blow up on it. Well, I guy's got wheel weights already integrated in the hubs though. Please, for the love of fuck, tell me. Seriously? I was about to say, don't tell me you don't hook up. Okay, so there's a gate to get into this field over here. We're gonna hop off and open that. And we'll use this as a demo field, see if it works or not. Oh yeah, to the dookie. What if I could jump that wall? Eh. Nope, not. Oh, yeah, I can. I'm awesome. Let's get in this John Deere and move our. Uh... This isn't going to fit through that fence. I'll tell you right now, not going to fit through the fence. Oh boy. Oh boy. I am a female white Michael Jordan at that. Ah, oh, you son of a whore, come on. Hmm, that's kind of funny for this thing being two wheel drive, all four wheels are spinning at the same speed. Yeah, like my front end disappears when I go through that. Are you fucking kidding me? Go in the hole. Yeah, we did it. Woohoo! Ah, still get a horn. Now we're going to do a Michael Jordan move. Oh shit, it threw us out on top of the fence. Uh oh, we're stuck there. Not a good thing. Thank you. I can't jump that one. Ow. Uh, holy shit, I did! Alright, so we got that. Now we need... A tractor that actually has some ass. I'm gonna go down as low as possible, though. Uh, the Steyr. When the hell do we get Linders? Or Lindner. 
I think that's the tractor we had was the Mass C-56. Dish fart. 97, 143 horse. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Don't want that. I want wide tire. Actually, no, I don't want. Let's leave it with whatever the hell comes with it. And then, oh shit, we still need. Uh, what the fuck do we need? Blanking out here. Alright, we need the Pottinger. Well, then we'll go with that. And then this. And then we need a tether. I'm not using those fucking hay bobs. Actually, no, because I, I think we just need a wind roar. So we'll go with the coon. Not the hay bob. I would shoot myself in the head. I do want to find that one that smokes like a son of a bitch, though. I wonder what this would do if it would choke on anything. And if anything, I'll just get another one of these freaking uh, turbo diesels. Open station, fuck it, buy it. It's our dish fart mower. I swear to shit, if I just... You motherfucker. I remember my first time playing this game. Really? Really? You're gonna knock it sideways and then drive over it, you dumbass? Get over there. Don't make me hit your bigger brother. There. Alright, so we got our mower. Which surprise, surprise. Who the fuck designs gates this small? Holy balls. Come on. Gates? No. Fences, yes. His gates, at least, are a little bit better than that. I violently slam into our tether. Or wind row or whatever the hell this piece of shit is behind me. Alright, so we got all this bullshit in here. Can we actually work now? Let me over. Unfold the mower. Lower it. Unfold the front. Ooh, look how fancy flaps had to come down. You know what we're gonna do too? We're gonna close that freaking gate. You. Close. Ow, it hit me! I need a tetanus shot! Alright, so now we should be up and mowing. Yeah, now we're mowing. And this tractor sucks ass. Bad call on the douche fart. I just want to see if this is going to be profitable to do uh, grass bales, which are, which I think you can sell, or uh, 
I know you can't do straw. You can't sell those bales. And from where we are on the map to where it would be sold at, it... I was thinking about a wheel, but... What the fuck am I going to put everything on? Is it such a... Such a small. Well, number one, that wheel would never have fit through that gate. There wasn't a chance in hell that wheel would have went through the gate. My bells are on the. The bells are gonna have to go 16 at a time on the automated collector, which barely fits through the freaking gate. That's the only way right now that they're gonna get transported. Be 16 at a time. Right there. <laughs> this is definitely a Yeah, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna make it out of there. At least this is uh, not like mowing on the other map. At least this shit goes where it's supposed to. Whoa, I didn't know there was a drop off there. Oh my god, this thing has like no balls. I should have got the freaking speed rower instead of this thing. I didn't put it in though. Son of a bitch. I know we'll get more than, uh, I know we'll get more than 16 bales out of this. <laughs> I am fired from my own game. But I'm the boss. No, you're fired. How can you fire yourself? I just did. You want to see me do it again? Here, I'm fired. What can I say? I have a problem with failure to load. Thought you were eating something, Mike. Uh, yeah, I'm on PC. <laughs> Was it at least good? BBC. If this was multiplayer, or if I had to set up as a uh, PTP, but unfortunately I don't. Damn, I'm missing all kinds of shit. What? Oh, uh, we are on a little bit of a slant. That's why the uh, mower is bouncing up and down. Hey, boy. We should. That That's a... I've been wanting to do that for a long time. See how many we can get all crammed in and... Which map though? Do we do it on uh, Wanasuck, uh, Stutter Freshie, 
Uh, the Colombian drug lord map. We gotta figure out what map we're gonna need to do. Obviously do a vanilla one, that way everybody can join. Small, yeah, small map. Just get everybody in on a game. That'd, that'd be freaking fun. Oh my god, this thing suffers from a sorry ass lack of balls. Well, this is a small map, but... Oh, dude, I know it's one. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, da, 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 da. Either Sandy Bay or Giants Island 07. Or whatever the fuck that one was. The old... Uh, FS-11 or FS-13 map, that would be perfect. Fuck Mustang Valley, I hate that map. Absolutely hate that map. Or we could just do it on Goldcrest. Yeah, I know it hates me and I hate it. There's Mustang Valley and then the other one. <laughs> There's two trains on Goldcrest. Two trains on Goldcrest. So we, we could have double the possibility to absolutely... <laughs> both trains. We could actually... Uh, I wonder how far, well no we tried before because remember we uh, and that when we were fucking with Cody and we pinned him, we pinned him up against the uh, trestle and tried killing him with a train and it didn't work. Yeah, it'll only ever be with one train because you can only put one train on one track. No, we didn't go flying. I think I did because I, I had Cody pinned in. Cody got off easy. He just got like shoved through the trestle. The pickup truck was the one that was awesome that went flying. How the hell uh, we got the hoon in there the way we did was another story, but if we could get shit on there like that, Dude, no, no, I just had the best idea. Nut pile 3.0. If we've got multiple people working on it, that would be the shit right there. Cause we have to reclaim our title of uh, the longest and largest nut harvest ever. The problem with Mustang Valley though, it's fucking flat and it's just four dumbass fields and we'd have to run the belts all over the freaking place. If we did that on uh, Goldcrest without the ground response on, blah 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 my asshole mate. Blah 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 blah. We're trying to claim both our titles back. Longest belt and biggest harvest. <laughs> Neither of us have a life or anything to do. <laughs> Beat you to it. What if I want to go unmount those ATV tires again? Huh? 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 Which couldn't be anything further from the truth. I'd rather put my dick in a bench vice with a sawzall. Alright, so we've mowed. I'm gonna stuff this piece of shit behind here. Yay, let me out that time. Now we're gonna get in the, uh... No, I'm not ever doing that again. Never. 
I already said it'll be brand new tires and rims before I do that shit again. Holy hell, this thing actually moves at a pretty good speed. Get out of my way, shitty tractor. We'll do Gold Crest. What are we gonna do? Sugar beets. I still wanna do the sugar cane one. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need the other half of my brain cell. So we'll both sit and we'll think and we'll come up with an idea and then we'll try and make it a uh, a viewer session thing. We'll, we'll get it started but then we'll uh, get the other guys in on it. That's the best worst idea. Hey, there's a road over there. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh god alright so we're gonna win all this then we'll bail it then we'll take it to the barn and hopefully we can sell it cause if not then I seriously shot myself in the ass by wanting to do all this But we'll see. There's just so much grass here. It only made sense to try and see if we could do anything as far as uh, selling bales to uh, make money faster than it would to uh, harvest anything. Oh, this tractor weird. God, it rolls cold like a bitch. Somebody call the EPA. Oh, wait. It's a 1969 model. Can't. It's, it's legit. Oh, my God. Turn, you... Alright, so we'll try 16 bales, see what happens. And if nothing comes out of 16 bells, then we'll be good. I turn it there. So we'll give us two outer rows. And then now we'll come up to here. So we got a couple of rows around the perimeter. Let's move the summit over here and jump in our baler. We'll get up to where we were. thing rolling. Thank God it's not a round baler because we'd have to stop every time to unload it. And now poo baling technology is in business. And yet to drop a single bell. So it looks like our first one will drop here on the back side. And probably our second too. Safety first. 
That's one bell. That'll be two. God, this thing rolls cold like a bitch. Three. Should drop a fourth one off here. Yep, four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, so we might get more than one uh, trailer load out of here. Eight. That's half a trailer load. I wonder if I have the small uh, auto loader. Nine. Why is that thing still smoking? Oh, it's on fire. It's ten. We got ten bales out of that. Why is that one still smoking? And it's like ungodly smoking. Um, I think one of our tractors is on fire. Right, let's, let's check and see if I do have the auto loader in here. I'm trying to remember what the fuck it's under. Loading wagons. No. That's for loose shit. I don't know what that accuracy is for. That's an auto loader. That's crone. And that is just a bale transporter, which means you need shit for the. Trying to remember where the hell I found it last time. Ooh, look at that. Is it under here for some reason? No. 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 Where the hell? That's the IT runner. Son of a bitch, I do have a speed rower. Son of a bitch. Obviously, I don't have the auto loader in here. Alright, so fuck it. Get the John Deere. How do I think it's so filthy? Alright, let's get out of here and uh, get these poop bales.
wait for that to flip back before it'll take that one. Got three out of 16 on board. Okay, this one's gonna be tricky because we gotta grab two at once. Yeah, this tractor's a little underpowered, but it's better than what we were working with. Whiskey horn. I believe that's ten. Yep, that's ten bales. So now we got a winner of the rest of this. Isn't it supposed to have wheels to help turn? So now we gotta get back in the tractor that appears to be on fire. Let's drop that one over there. Jump on the ones on fire. Make some straight wind rows here. Since now we've got the turning radius. Be a lot easier on the baler too. And slide under it. There you go. If it becomes profitable enough, I might load in the uh, the auto loader. Because right now, I think with this particular one that I'm using, I'm gonna have to stack those fucking things and then have them pushed in. Whereas the auto loader, I could have just drove around, but there's no way in hell I would have got the auto loader into this field. I could have swore I put the mini one in. See, there's trees in the way. So hopefully I don't have too many of these turns left to do. And see quite a few uh rows that we've made now. Always aim for the middle. Try and push three rows into one. And back on the center. And I think we're gonna have one little weird, one little weird piece. Can't see. Not well enough to make another row right there, there's two. This be a weird one.
Let's come down here to the end. Definitely need a bigger tractor though if I'm gonna do uh, that cutting. That that dude's farm does not. It does not have near enough power. So with that, I'm done with the wind rower and our tractor that seems to apparently just want to do nothing but roll coal. Let's park it over here. Oh, it stopped rolling coal now. Now it's back on fire again. Thought it was off, now it's back on. Well, I mean, it's turned off, but it, it's a runaway. Oh, turn. He only takes six more bales. Turn, 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 turn. Two more. Two more will make an even 16 and the max of that trailer will hold. Hopefully we go up to the barn place and we'll be able to sell these bales and actually get some decent money for them. One more. if we'll get it this run or not. Nope. Alright, there's our sixth bell. We'll get to the end here. Jump in the old John Deere, which doesn't want to turn for shit. Grab these six bales and we will hopefully try and go sell them. What the hell? Oh, that little terrain pitch there. The uh, John Deere doesn't like that at all. Grab 
grab that one and this one and that'll be 16 bales now I need to look and see where we are versus where the barn is all right so we gotta go out this gate up the road means I gotta jump out open the damn gate Hope to God I can get in and out. Alright, so we're out. Oh my God, this thing got filthy from that. Now we're gonna have to go down and make a left. She's struggling bad. Real bad. Hey, look, there's another gate. What's in another small field? All right, now we're gonna head for that little silage emblem down there. Then we'll see if this was worth it or not. Keep those tires up. Can't see shit. There we go. Heading down the road, trying to raise my mother. Ah, really? That's where this comes out at? I always, I had wondered. Oh, shit. Alright, so... There's the... The fuck is the trigger for it, though? There's a trigger right there. Found it. So not too bad, especially when we're working that grass field right there. As we get this tractor stuck in the mud. Throwing up rooster tails. Okay, it has four wheels that do turn, but only... This is gonna be kinda, what the fuck is, why is there a little bit of crops growing right there? Back up. Sure we're not hitting anything. Bingo. So it was a thousand eighty a bale. So a thousand eighty times sixteen. Do the uh, redneck math on that. That's seventeen thousand two hundred eighty dollars per. 16 bale trip. That's actually not that bad. And now we're fucking stuck in here. About big trailers.
Do like an 800 point turn here. Okay, so now that we know that was a success, I'm going to pop the gate open on this field here. We'll leave that John Deere there. This can stay, the Massey Baylor, we're gonna just bring this down to the new field. A little ride along on this. Actually, no, I wanna see how bad this thing gets just blasted in mud. Splash! That's right, so she got a little dirty. We're gonna move this tractor down to wherever the hell field I was at. That's a big mud pit leading up into that field. All right, so knowing now that it's as tight of a fit as it is, definitely not gonna put the, uh, the big auto loader trailer in. And once we come to this little area here, I'm gonna have to find a spot to park No, that's easy right over here. Mud pit. Mud pit. So we got that tractor down here. We're gonna need the wind rower as well. I'll bring that down there and then we're gonna go ahead and sell the douche fart tractor seeing how it's underpowered for mowing god damn it overly sensitive xbox controllers We just beat the crap out of our brand new wind rower as we drag it up the road here. Make the turn out. Is there a fuel station anywhere around? I guess then it's all down at the farm. Yeah, we'll find out. Where's my ass? It should be in that seat. See if the wind rower jumps. Eh, not as bad as the bailer did. I actually need that before. Now I can jump in this tractor here. We're gonna get rid of the tractor, keep the mowers. Actually, no, we're gonna get the speed rower. So we're gonna sell all this here and pray to God that the uh, Speed rower works. As long as the cutting head isn't too wide on it. Now we're gonna look at forge harvesters. We have the Massey Ferguson speed rower. And now go to forge headers. Get the Massey head for it. Ooh, I don't know about that. I 
That doesn't look like a grass cutting head. Well, that's definitely making a mower sound. Now let's get it up there and see if we can get it through the gate. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that I'm about to knock the freaking head in sideways with this and I don't even know if the, the speed drawer itself will make it through. The speed rower will actually help. But it's 85 horsepower of what the hell. I'm kind of iffy on if this is going to clear a gate. If it doesn't, we're going to have to go back to the uh, drawing board and buy a more expensive tractor and the mowers again. If this doesn't make it down through here, I can tell you we're not going to make it to a gate. Now look at that. Oh, you just got to be very careful. I still don't think it's going to make that gate. Oh boy, endo. Is it going to fit? Oh, that's a wider gate. It should fit. Oh, boy. Nope. Doesn't fit. Son of a bitch. Okay, so if it doesn't fit through that gate, it's not going to fit through any gate. So that means we need to... Reset that, and then find this, reset it, yes, back, oh, god damn it, really it's going to, I forgot that it resets to the field, and I'm going to have to drop the head just to get it in and out, back over to that, because we have to go through a gate, I should have just turned it around and freaking drove it back. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm going to make it through this gate. So, we're going to do this. Drop the head. Drive around it. We're going to push this damn thing out into the road. What the hell is that? No collision, my friend? Uh, a lot of this is no collision. That's weird. Ooh, that was violent. Alright, so speed rower is a no go. What the fuck am I hitting? Definite no go on the speed rower. So that's got to get sold. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. I had a feeling it was going to be too damn big once I saw it. Hell, it barely fits in the equipment shop. Sell it. Sell it. Alright, so back to tractors. I just need one that's got a three point. 
No, those masses are big enough. What did I have? I had the Dutch farmer. I had that one. I guess we could go up to a. Well, how much the horse is on that? 143. Can we do a bigger motor on the T6? 163 horse. Really. And now we gotta go back and buy mowers. I think this time we'll buy the pottingers. Is there a difference? No, a thousand dollars cheaper. Okay, so now we got a ballsier tractor. Still has a uh, little girl horn. Attach. <laughs> Mass. I can drive, I swear. There we go, got her. Let's go. So we're in a, a beefed up version of the T6. Getting whiplash and all kinds of other good things here. We're gonna take this New Holland and we're gonna go down to field, what field is it, nine? Nine, field nine. Can't see. Field nine's actually pretty big, so, and it's right across from where, holy crap, I got some air in that thing. I get it dirty too. So this will clear. Alright, so we want to unfold more. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Lower it. Turn it on. Unfold, lower. Turn on. And I think that's where I'm going to clip it here. Next video, you should see a field that's completely mowed, bailed, and ready to go. And I might actually, uh, might actually take on the, the task of uh, getting in here and plowing, making a field here in field 9. Because we got 6, 5, 1, 4, 10, 17, 8, 7, 6, 28, all that around here. But as for right now, that's going to kill this one. We still aren't really a large-scale farm because we only have four tractors. Two, and the, two of them are old. Or actually, three of them are old. This is the newest one we own, the T6. But we're still going to stay small operation, seeing how you can't really do anything large-scale on this map. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.